Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be redoing a Leo reading because I don't know, like I thought it was an okay reading, but something in me was saying to redo it, okay? So you guys get a bonus. Um Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. I'm very sleep deprived right now. I was just flying the last two days and <clears throat> As I've been on my spiritual journey, my job of being a flight attendant has just gotten a lot harder on me spiritually and physically and emotionally, so it takes a lot to recenter myself after a trip, so um, it's just crazy if you guys are on a spiritual journey, which you probably are if you're following my channel, you're, as your intuition gets better throughout your journey, you become more and more sensitive to things and like just processing everything because your like antennas are ultraly in tuned okay so with that being said i'm gonna do a mystic moon i'm gonna do a leo reading starting with the mystic moon oracle deck let's see what's going on with you guys <clears throat> that shadow work okay offer recognition Balancing the scales, pause, and um, patience, okay? So nothing too intense here. I feel like when I saw the offer card, I feel like it's kind of the universe offering you a chance to work on your shadow side. So something might have happened that forced you maybe even into being in like a place of loneliness or you have a partner that um helped you recognize your shadow side okay they helped you recognize parts of yourself through this dynamic but i feel this offer is more so the spiritual realm offering you an opportunity to grow to take time with the pause and the patience to work on yourself and balance yourself and ground yourself and some of you might be dealing with a karmic situation with this balancing the scales Something might be happening that you don't know in the wings that, no pun intended because I was just talking about flying, but I mean like in the wings of like being on stage where you don't see it happening, but there could be a karmic resolution happening that you also could be dealing with a Libra, okay? So um, let's pull from the All Things Intuitive and see what messages I got here. Stability. Okay, this is another balancing the scales, finding a solid ground to stand on. Acceptance. Okay, acceptance of whatever situation you're in as happening for a reason and past life connection. Okay, so if you're dealing with a past life connection, I feel like that's like a, a comfort of knowing that whatever is happening is supposed to be karmically setting itself right from past lives okay you're bringing karma in from other lifetimes accepting that it's not maybe it doesn't look very pretty but it's also like you don't know like what's behind the wings that's the message i keep getting you don't know what's happening in the wings okay so let's start delving into the tarot here let's see what's going on i'm using probably what is my favorite deck the cosmic tarot Got queen of swords okay so you definitely feel like you're dealing with an air sign four of wands reversed and the empress on the bottom wow okay <laughs> there is so much libra energy here but also this is the divine feminine this is a twin flame card but it's foundation and it's turned upside down and it's there's a queen of swords so gemini libra aquarius <sighs> i feel like truth hurts <laughs> I don't, I'm not even actually a fan of Lizzo, but that just popped in my head because I do feel like someone delivered some truth to you, but it's to help you become the ultimate divine feminine. Some of you might be dealing with situations that are not pretty and not fun, but it's to help you have a stronger foundation, okay? I feel like some of you guys feel like your twin flame dynamic is just sort of it's there but you just can't get it to be right okay but i think this is because you guys are working on becoming the empress and you might have to become a version of yourself that you 
don't necessarily recognize, but in a good way. Like you might be growing in a way that feels really uncomfortable, but I'm actually loving your reading, Leo, because I feel like you guys are going through a big transformational period right now. Got five of pentacles. Okay, yeah, I feel like there was a loss that triggered a lot of this shadow stuff, okay? But be grateful for loss because it helps you look into your own limitations, okay? Nine of swords reversed. The world, this is another karmic. And actually, it's funny because there's a lion in this world and also a woman that looks very like a lioness, okay? So, but the world is karma. It's karma completing itself. I feel like with the Nine of Swords reversed, this period of anxiety is kind of in the past for you guys, okay? I'm going to pull from a tarot of sexual magic and see if we got any erotic messages here. Or just any messages that coincide with these other ones. Five of Wands reversed, okay? So two fives, there's change. Ace of Cups, okay? So I feel like as you break open, it's like a pearl and inside is like the heart of you. And it's like shedding an onion and all these layers of you that don't serve you anymore. And at the core of it is your heart chakra, the Ace of Cups, a new emotional beginning, a new love offering. Someone may be feeling very emotional towards you. Someone might want a new beginning with you after a lot of battles, after a lot of fighting, after a lot of arguments, after a lot of conflicts, okay? King of Pentacles reversed, okay? So you might be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but I feel like they're extremely materialistic and superficial and caught up in the material realm, okay? Also, this is like a message I'm getting not for you guys not to be like that. Eight of Cups reverse, I feel like um, someone's returning, okay? There was an abandonment, there was a, a someone leaving, but I feel like they're returning. Um, it's almost like this, this is a very weird Eight of Cups because... They're actually not, in this Eight of Cups, there's no departure here. Um, there's maybe a disconnect, but I feel like you might be reconnecting with somebody, okay? That's the message I have there. I'm going to pull from this LQ Oracle deck and see. Interesting reading, Leo. She who avenges revenge outcomes justice i'm getting a lot of karmic messages for you guys she who aches okay so sadness solitude silent withdrawal i feel like that was you guys with the five pentacles i feel like someone really did you wrong but i feel like they're getting their karma now okay crazy and she who calms stillness purity and quiet i feel like that's going to be the winds of change and karma that kind of calm you down and make you feel like okay all is right and just in this world. I'm not being forsaken by the universe. The universe was supporting me all along. There was a plan. This was a past life connection. This was karma that had to right itself. I'm pulling from the Twin Flame Messages Volume 2 and see what your person has to say to you. I'm working towards a better future. I miss the feel of you next to me and you're the only one that truly gets me. Wow sip on that for a while <laughs> um a lot of these cards are about apologies and regrets and wishing that someone did something but I pulled three cards here that don't have that they're more about someone truly feeling like they value who you are they miss physically being next to you and also they are working towards a better future maybe for you guys okay but they're putting in work in some way there's energy that they're putting in another area of their life but i feel like they want you to know that while they're doing this you're still very much a part of them and very much on their mind okay so i don't feel like there's this heavy energy from this person saying you know i mess things up it's more so i miss you but i also have other things that i'm focusing on okay which means 
as a twin flame, you need to mirror them back and you need to focus on, that means that's telling you that there's things that you need to focus for your own better future. And eventually you guys will probably come together, but there's also a lot of karmic things going on here too. So Leos, thanks for tuning in again. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.